Well guys, how's it going today? It is a beautiful Sunday morning here in Arizona at the Carefree Facilities. Yes, we are doing a van tour here for you today. The reason why, the customers are coming to pick the van up and we wanted to show this one off to you guys. This one is completely one off and custom. We're gonna showcase something that not a lot of people know that we do. So this thing actually came to us partially built out. It had the bench seats and the kitchen cabinet already set in place. Some of the stuff was done to it um, and she needed help. She was not in contact with the previous builder. She needed the thing to finished out so she could enjoy it to its fullest, as well as nobody else would kind of help her out with that. So she came all the way over here from San Diego. Not too bad of a drive, four hours, but we were able to help her out, get the whole thing completed, and this thing turned out pretty amazing. As well, there's a couple cool things about the van that I haven't seen yet. So it is a Dodge Sprinter. It is mid 2000s, probably 2005, 2006. Um, and the weird thing is there's no sliding doors. There's not a single sliding door on either side of this van. So with that, the only access is through the driver area or through the back barn doors here, which actually really uh, makes a cool layout when you work it the right way. I think she did a great job. She also picked out all the finishes and the colors, guys. I love it. I love the dark colors. I love the gold. I love the sweet handles that you're gonna see. Uh, check out that sweet backsplash too. But let's go take a look guys and see what this awesome man tour is all about. Coming up in here guys, you're gonna notice down below we got the double bench. So this will actually come together to make a king size mattress. She also requested the upper cabinets on the passenger side. Look at that. That is 14 feet of upper cabinets. That is massive storage. As well as we got the really nice gold poles nice deep storage another thing you're going to notice down below is the accent lighting she actually added that so we added the led strip we put the little trim piece on there so you couldn't even see it as well as it kind of makes that indirect light that flows really well she got a couple outlets in here from the previous van builder we just finished and wired those up as well as you can kind of notice she changed her mind doing the white walls she was actually going to do this whole thing in dark black but she actually picked the white walls. I think it kind of breaks it up and it makes it a lot more uh, roomy in here. Looking up here, shiplap ceiling guys, gotta love it. She picked the black color. I really like that. She also did some really nice trim around the fans. That was done by the previous guy, but we painted it up. And then she's got these LED uh, recessed lights that are on a dimmer switch. That way she can kind of control the ambiance and make it feel really homey in here. Coming on back just a little bit more. Uh, this is something that was really cool that she brought to us that we were able to incorporate in the van. She's got these gold Cobra handles and with that, this is for her closet. We got the hanging rod in there. Down below, plenty of storage and even more storage down here. And then we got those gold handles that we actually put on to match the Cobras. Over here on the passenger side, guys, we're looking at the kitchen now. So we got a propane uh, two burner uh, cooktop that was already installed, the sink and everything, but look at this sweet faucet pull out gold, really nice. And then I was, I didn't know how this was going to look, but I think it looks really nice in here. This green tile backsplash, look at that. So we were able to get that installed for her. I think it really adds a pop of color to the van as well as I think it goes really well with the dark gray colors. All of our cabinet doors down here, we actually switched the cabinet pull color just to break up the color a little bit. We thought the gold was a little overbearing if we used it all over the place. So we put some black handles on there to kind of break it up a little bit. But look at all that countertop space, guys. Lots of it. This is actual laminate countertop. So it's gonna be easy to clean and it looks really residential and like a home in here. But last cool feature guys, so the cool thing about not having any sliding doors is the amount of stuff you can do. So we got the really long galley kind of layout and then with that we have the double booth bench seats that she did here. They got storage inside as well as this nice flip up table that you can sit at and eat. And then you got this really nice window that you can look out you know, see the Teton, see where you're exploring. This is a really one-off layout. I've never seen it done like, kind of like this before, as well as with all these types of finishes. I really think that uh, it turned out really nice. Left a lot of nice room to get up into the driver's seat so you're not having to get out of the van to get into the camper. Ceiling continues through with the recessed lights and another Max Air fan. This is the big, long, extended body sprinter, so gotta have enough ventilation so it doesn't get too hot in here. 
If you guys are looking for something like this, if you have a partially built van, if you have uh, a van that just needs some simple modifications, we can definitely help you out. We are just not a brand new custom van builder. We try and help everybody out, as well as if you need service, if things aren't working right, power, plumbing, even the cabinet work, if we gotta fix it, we wanna make sure that you have a carefree camper van. So, links are down in the description, guys. Thank you for this tour. I know it's quick and easy, but with that, this is not a van to overlook with its styling and the layout design in itself. But thank you guys. I'm going to go enjoy the rest of my Sunday. I hope you do as well. Catch you on the next video.